here that doesn't mean that I don't want to do it. I am teaching each and every page of the PDF. But uh, no doubt, after my classes, if you are trying to read this one, you can complete within one month itself. Okay. So, so you what, 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 what is what is 100? 100 out of 100 person subject, uh, how you will get it? Uh, okay. 1400 okay. cases. Okay. 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 Got it. Here, so many things are there that which are not using the light. Okay. Uh, PDF, what it exactly tells, it's a line by line, instruction by instruction, how the technology is used, whether those uh, components we are using as part of our development, or that, that doesn't matter for them. Those are all come up with the standard PDF. Here, what I'm going to teach is, which of the concepts are very important as part of development. Okay, mm -hmm. that I am going to cover within the one, mm -hmm. one month. Okay, after one month, if you are trying to read the 1400 pages, it's very easy for you to understand. Okay, I think you know Anil, right? That the, the, how the PDFs, suppose the 10th page, if you understand the 10th page, uh, the first nine pages are required to understand the 10th page. Sometimes what will happen, if you need to understand the 10th page, maybe you need the content from the 15th page. How that the others will uh, define? The other two are the different, right? The there is here, whatever the way I am following, if you are continuously following the 30 classes or the 25 classes from me, no doubt that you can understand how this, uh, what are the things are there, how it's working, and if you are going to read that video. Anyway, see, uh, I can say that I am an initiator for the subject, uh, then after that if you want to get masterized, then you need to go through the coaching. In my life, uh, I think I read more than uh, five to six times of 1400 pages, but uh, still I am not remember each and every page. Whenever the requirement is there, just I am going and I uh, am uh, reviewing that uh, particular concepts and uh, taking the information and performing the development of the administration. Okay. Okay. Did you get me right? Okay, one, one, uh, one other cu curious question. Yesterday you, you were opening up this. Uh, uh, BISP kind of stuff. So you would be, are you using some material from there? No, see, BISP is my friend. Uh, that is Amish Sharma is my friend. Okay. Uh, I'm not uh, see. Are you the what is that? That's so out of that one slide is created by me long back. No, okay. Okay. Still, the, the uh, Amit is using the same one or the, it is modified something according to uh, that's uh, that's I'm very wrong. So both of you have worked together? No, long back we have worked together. Okay. okay. Now anyway, okay. The, the info set up and uh, everything is I'm working with. Okay. Uh, he started the training sessions from the 2006 onwards. Is a very dedicated person all over the world. Earlier, he worked with the Varaki Corporation as a pure manager for one of the Nigerian firms. Mm. Just a few months back, left the job and was concentrating on the business. Mm. See, if you see, uh, as well as planning, no doubt I can teach you well. If you are required the, any other products of the DRM or the HFM and everything, just consult with me, I can introduce the Okay. Okay. If, if you or your company is required anything. Okay, okay. See, whatever the friends, whatever the colleagues I have, see, anywhere, place and planning, whatever the classes I'm getting, even sometimes I'm getting the queries from the admin for the classes. In the same way, if there are any good trainers for me, and I'll uh, introduce them to the admin. This is the way okay. we are getting the relation. Okay. So you no are taking and giving course. Okay. <coughs> and see, one more thing. What is the requirement of this? Place? Let me uh, talk about this. In 1992, the Arbor, Arbor software is come up with the software of This is the company is created only to uh, develop the SBS database. Okay, that means mm -hmm. this company is a product-based company having only one product that is SBS. Okay, 
this company is not having any other product other than this. Okay. One more thing. What is this? this? It's a database. Okay. Again, already databases are available in the world. The different databases. These are all acting as a databases. Uh, take the example of Oracle DB. and Citus. So many vendors are there in the world. Okay. Here my uh, what, I, what I want to discuss is that why again Artworks software has come up with a database. Both are the databases but slight changes there. This is a multi-dimensional database. Whereas coming to this, these databases are two-dimensional databases. Databases. So, what is the difference between the multi-dimensional database and the two-dimensional database? See, if you are trying to get the information of any of my friends, two friends, if you are taking the two friends as a parameter, then you will get some information, 10 to 20 percent of information to analyze about the world. Okay what exactly the behavior, how, uh, what are the relationships meant and what are the habits. Assume that instead of two people, you are trying to take the information from the team people who are, uh, who are friends of me or any relatives, then no doubt you can capture the information of the 90%. At what time he is behaving, what is the, you know, what is the psychology, what are the habits, okay what are the interests and what are the dates and everything you can do. The simply I can say that using the multi-dimensional database you have to use information in your hand. Obviously analysis is very good. Whereas coming to the two-dimensional databases for uh, the piece of information you have the two dimensions x axis and y axis. Maybe sometimes that information is not enough to analyze in the right way. Okay. That is the only the difference and important databases, two-dimensional and multi-dimensional. Arthur software is created the multi-dimensional database. Uh, existing databases, so many vendors are there out of the I'm taking the two, two examples. One is Oracle DB, our second one is Sidebase. I think um, I think you can understand right this is the DBs databases. D B M N not R D B N just in nineteen ninety-two. Okay. RDBMS tag is introduced in the tag is introduced in after 96. So all the databases in the world moved into the RDBMSs. RDBMS is nothing but at least the databases should satisfy seven pod rules. Pod is the RDBMS doctor. He is one of the uh, professor who is defining the uh, database relationship management uh, rules. Okay. Okay. See, mm -hmm. let me give one more explanation. See, what is the requirement database is storing the data? Okay. All existing databases also are capable enough to store the data. Up to this, there is no change. And why we are storing the data is the requirement of sharing the data across the globe. The users from the different locations, those guys are trying to store their data to the services. Okay. And fourth one is find server. Suppose if my data is there in the US server, the end users are uh, fetching the data or storing the data from their locations. I think what the architecture of the product should be the client server product. In requirements, product requirements, uh, before, I mean, uh, prior to building this uh, product, uh, these guys are uh, having certain parameters, they should have these are the criteria. Okay. The client server architecture, all the existing databases or Oracle or Sybase, these are all client server te technologies. Okay. 
using SQL starters anywhere in the world, the end user can access the server and input the, insert the reports or update the reports or delete the reports from the DB. If the particular user has the right, uh, right, uh, right permissions to do that activities. Okay. Up to this, there is no change. One slight difference is this, that uh, there is a database. It's a multi-dimensional. It's a two-dimensional. Coming to the fifth one, calculation oriented. Okay. The as this is the database can capable enough to do the calculations. Even existing databases also. What are the client requirements, the client business logic that we can incorporate to the database level? Okay. That means the databases are capable enough to calculate the data in the required time. Okay. That is also available. And so on. Our sixth one is security. Assume that I am the, I'm the manager from the south region head of this shop or staff. You are manager from the north region region uh, shop or staff. Uh, we do have common manager. He is sitting at our headquarter in Mumbai of shop or staff. In that case, whatever the proposals I am sending to my manager, that should not be ruled by you. Whatever the proposals you are sending to me, your uh, uh, your manager that should not be ruled by me. In that case, we need to have certain um, security setup. Okay, that means we need to respect the end users based on their criticality of the data. But our manager, common manager, can able to see the data of mine and yours also. That we can implement using the security. The same security is available in the uh, existing databases. Uh, existing databases also capability of providing the security. And seventh point is input data. Data from Excel sheets. Or we can call it as a spreadsheet. Long back, why I'm calling this is a spreadsheet? In 1992, we don't have Excel sheet. We have Lotus Notes 1, 2, 3. And the, that is the starting point of the Microsoft uh, uh, Office. Okay? Whatever the code we have in the, inside the Lotus Notes 1, 2, 3, that is copy pasted by the Microsoft Corporation and created the in the MS Office Excel, okay. But uh, existing databases, if you want to input the data, that we cannot input from the Excel sheets. But the data is there in the databases. You can export the data to the Excel sheets. That the feature is available. But uh, we cannot input the data using the Excel sheet. But uh, we can input the data using the SQL DML language, data manipulation language. That means all the people who are trying to input the data into the Oracle DB or Sybase, this guy should learn their own specific SQL language. What exactly it contains? Insert, update, delete, and assume some other, and select. Okay. Here, the sound point is the very strong point from the space and okay. We know very well the intention of the Orpa software people is creating this database only for financial uses. Uses. That means in banking corporations or any organizational uh, operations. The craft goods, those guys are operating their business. Okay, maybe not only that uh, domain specific, not only financial, only pure HSBC or uh, the Canada Bank, not such a way that even we can use the, this particular database in the operations also. Okay, operations. I think uh, you, you have some idea about the MBA operations and MBA finance, right? Yeah, yeah. The finance people can uh, dedicated uh, people for the financial organizations, operations, of course, and operations is one of the parties finance is the Okay, in relation of this uh, 
database is created for input the data. In short, we can say that SBase is the database for Excel sheets. Okay. How the database name is derived, I'll show you on PPT. See, SBase name is derived from ex extended spreadsheet database. First characters of the three and the last four characters from the database. That is the how the name is derived. Based on this, we can say that the SBase is a database simply in simple terms. SBase is a database for Excel sheets. I know the how my Organizational hierarchy is 100 managers are there from the different locations. I need to get the approval from the 10 to 15 people managers. And the same Excel sheet I need to provide the share for the hundreds of managers. In that case, sending the Excel sheet to the different managers by mail or uh, make it as a shared, for, uh, shared drive and providing that one is a very complex. Okay. That's the reason these guys are looking for one database which can support for Excel sheets. The space, the Arbor software is implemented in the space. Okay, it's a technical usage of the space. It's a multi-dimensional database which takes the data from the source system. Source can be anything, and convert it into the whole of data, which is used to analyze business by the business users. And coming to the definition, it's a very toughest definition. Okay. As part of the standardization of the PPT, I copy pasted from uh, PDF to the PPT. But this is the time maybe you are, if you are completely from the technical front, then you can understand. Otherwise, it's a bit tough. I can read this. A multi-threaded multi OLAP database software that takes advantage of symmetric multi-processing hardware platforms. Okay. This is the symmetric uh, multi-processing nothing but multiple threads can execute at the same time. Okay high availability of the data or the high utilization of the speed of data. Left deployed, nothing but you can access this product from any of the anywhere from the world. Make sure that you have the respective URL. And thin client architecture. Thin client nothing but it's URL based architecture. You can using the URL you can talk to the as base. The server acts as a shared resource. Why we need to have the database is storing the data. Storing and why we are storing the data to share the data. Handling all data storage and catches and calculations and security. Whatever the features are spe specified here, those are all available with the comma here. And coming to the last line, as this server client needs only to retrieve and view data that resides on the SBS server. What is the purpose of the clients? To fetch the data from the database and to input the data from the uh, clients. These are the two actors. This is a complete technical definition. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me now? Yeah, now I can hear you. Yeah, now I can hear you. Much better. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. But see, Anil, this is a complete technical definition. As part of standardization, I created this. I put this one into the definition part. Okay. 
anywhere we don't have much activity to, to work the definition to understand the concept is very 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 important okay okay and coming yeah. to the everything i understood in the definition except multi threading i am not very clear with this concept so and so out of that here you understood that uh, see who are the people who are using the excel sheets in the real world only the managers or directors or uh, the vice presidents these are all um, want to see their figures or the estimated values in the excel sheets okay Uh, the product is only intentionally created for them to uh, input the data into the database. Once these guys are inputted the data from the Excel sheets, so that data is available for the next level of managers. But uh, we cannot take the, all the managers into the one room and we cannot uh, uh, teach them the SQL. Those guys are not even interested. Okay. Now, uh, whereas as this, those guys are all the, already well familiar with Excel sheet. Just we are going to explain only one tab. That is the this one. This is the features uh, available as per from, from the uh, as this data. Okay. The rest of all the features are well available with all the level of managers with Excel existing Excel sheets. Just we are uh, uh, after the development of the as this. Just we are going for the onsite and like giving the planning for the end users on the the options which are available in the space. Okay, then those guys once after the um, planning, those guys can able to interact with the database. Okay, out of this, I can say that seventh point is completely advantage of the space server, and the first point is advantage. So one more point is available, that is the security. Okay, what is the advantage? I'll explain in a moment. Okay, take the example of Oracle DB. How the setup will uh, Oracle database server? I can give the server access, server level access. As in that, I do have the the four Oracle servers. Out of that, I can have the one server access. Maybe you can have one more server access and the two different servers. We can have access out from the some other people from out. And that means I can restrict the use of this up to the server level. What is there inside the Oracle server? Oracle databases are available. DB server. One Oracle server can have the multiple databases. One database we can use for the high clearance. Other database we can use for the any ETL tool. Other database we can use for the Some reporting purpose. Okay, that means we can restrict the end users, or we can provide the security on database level itself. Database level also. Okay, and coming to the what is there in the within the database? Oracle schemas are available. That means I can provide the security on the schema level. Schema nothing but it's a collection of tables related to the one user. Maybe I have some certain uh, tables access. You can have certain tables access. That means you are acting as a one schema. Myself is acting as a one schema. Okay. That means even I can provide the security on top of the schema level. And the next level, what is there within the schema? It's a collection of tables. That means even I can provide the security on table level. Assume that I, I have 100 tables out of the table, I can have the access for the few tables and the rest of the tables you can have as well. That means I can input, input, update, and delete the records from the respective accessible tables for me, and then you can do the same activity from your end. Okay, that means I can provide the security at the table level. How the table will compose? We know very well. By the rows and columns. We can provide the security on top of rows and columns. How we can provide by creating the Oracle views? Of course, it is a subject for the Oracle database. Okay, I don't want to talk much about it. Maybe if I'm speaking about it, you know, I'm not having the right subject. I can speak the unrelated things. Okay. Here, up to this, I can tell you that we can provide the security on row level or column level. Assume that in my one of the table, I do have thousand rows. Okay, 
out of that I can restrict you for the 100 rows and the rest of the uh, rows can be available for me only. Okay. Or uh, columns. Uh, my, have, my table can have the 10, 10 columns. I can restrict the other users to view the uh, up to one or two columns. I can do the access for it. Okay. And what is the combination of rows and columns? Intersection of rows and columns nothing but a cell. But cell level security we cannot provide. Cell level provided. We cannot provide the security. Mm -hmm. At cell level. Here, what's my intention is, what is the difference between the address security and existing database security? This is the existing database security. I have taken the example of the Oracle DB. Okay. Now, I'm moving for the space. Right now, you don't know anything for the space. Just here, I want to compare two things. Okay. I can provide the security on the server level. Okay. If I have the four or five servers out of that one, oh, I do have access for one server and you can have access for another server. Okay. I can respect the security on the server level. What is there in the inside the server, uh, in the server? We can have the applications. That means the address applications. That means one server can have multiple uh, applications out of that. I can restrict the end use to the access based on the application. That means I can provide the security on top of application level. Okay. So what is there inside the application database? Each application can have multiple databases. Assume that one application have two databases out of that and the uh, for one database, I'm an administrator. Maybe you are the administrator for the next uh, second database. That means we can restrict the users for the database. Level. What is there in the database? What is there inside the database? We have a blocks. Blocks, nothing but a, a virtual blocks. We cannot see physically. The block, nothing but it's a cubicle block. See, we have some cube, right, to play in the, making the colors at one side. <laughs> the same way the block is there, okay? Block, block is collection of rows and um, columns, okay? Block. Even we can restrict the end users up, up to the block level, okay? And block is composed with the rows and columns. We can restrict the end users for the rows and columns. Out of 100 rows, I can build access for the my users for the first 10 or 20 based on the requirement. For coming to the columns, also the same. Okay. Rows and columns uh, combination or the intersection, we can call it as a cell. Okay. But in this case, we can provide the security and cell level that is not available or not. That feature is not available in the existing databases like Oracle. We can. Got it. Okay. Here, that is the main difference as part of the security. Okay. Maybe this is not the right time to understand for you as the server application level or database level or block level or role level. If I'm giving this hierarchy, then you can understand that under the database or as the server you have applications. Under the applications you have databases under uh, databases block blocks under uh, mm -hmm. blocks is composed with the rows and cell uh, columns. Rows and cell to uh, uh, intersection is a cell. That means if you are talking about the cell, not all. The rows and columns is there and block is there, as is there, uh, database is there, application is there, server is there. If you are talking about the rest and now you got it right. I think yeah. that's all. Sure.
Okay, one question here: the, the yeah. application can have uh, one application can have multiple databases, correct? Yes, yes. But again, moving forward, it's the basics. We have two types of uh, applications are there: DSO and ASO. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the ASO, we cannot create multiple databases under the one application. We can create only one application, one database. Okay. Whereas coming to the BSO, we can have multiple databases under one application. Okay. Anyway, we are not going to teach much, much about the ASO. I will tell you the, what are the BSO and the ASO differences. Okay. If you learn the, in the BSO, no doubt you can work on the ASO. Right. So like uh, suppose I can drive my um, uh, buzzers like that. Even I can drive my hero Honda brand like that. Okay. That means the bit different, but the storage uh, parameters and all, but the basics are all found. Okay. Hmm. If you are asking me here, the multiple databases are applicable for only BSO, it's not for ASO. Okay. Moving forward, we are going to discuss about it, then you can understand clearly. But at this point of time, this is, I hope that this is a, a right to, to convince you. Okay. Hmm. Did you get me right? Yeah, I got it. Uh, oh. Okay. Now, why Arbor software has come up with the database of the SBase? These are the features out of that node over. Four features are exactly same. There is no much difference. But out of seven, three are the bit different from the existing databases. Out of that, very strong point is inputting the data using Excel sheets. Okay. That feature is not available in any of the databases which are available prior to 1992. That is the reason even the soft, uh, this software company is not reputed as a software company, but this product is captured the market very well. And between the 95 itself, most of the oil corporations have used the uh, as base for their uh, analysis, business analysis. Okay, all the banking corporations are adapted the as base for their uh, business analysis. Okay, because of inputting the data from the Excel sheet, there is the advantage. Mm -hmm. Okay, did you get me right? How about this? And the other advantage also is that security that cell level, right, which is not there in the regular database. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I hope history of the database, SBS introduction, and requirement of the uh, SBS database is over. Now let me come to the history of the SBS. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the same point. Uh, Let me take one example. Just before we learn, this is a product is invented in 1992 by the Orba software company. And product is product name is as this. And the, this product is marketed with the name of the SBS itself. Okay. But in 1998, what happened? Sarkar software companies matched with the Hyperion solutions. Okay. From there onwards, after 1998, the product is marketed as a Hyperion SBS. 
Let's imagine. I think you know you know the difference between the merging and acquisition, right? Acquisition nothing but we are called giving some money and taking all the assets and everything in the own name. So some merging nothing but you are running one big company, I'm running small company, and decided I want to work with you. That means whatever the company plan and as that's completely matching and all the clients and all the resources are working together now. That's part of matching. Okay, here what happens, Arbor software company is matched with the Hyperion solution. Then after the matching, the product is, product is marketed as a Hyperion address from 1998 onwards. In 2007, in the best acquisitions, one of the acquisitions is Varaku Corporation acquired the Hyperion. Correct. Wow. Okay. This is a acquisition. The hyper solution people are looking for purely currency. There is no shares. Okay. For the variety corporation, it has taken four years to pay that amount to the hyper solution. Okay. So it's a complete acquisition. From 2007 onwards, the product is marketed as a Oracle at base. Okay. Whatever it is, as base or Hyperion as base or, or the Oracle as base, both the D or same, but the names are comes uh, comes to the market with the different uh, names based on the vendor of the product. Okay, this is the history. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say that uh, why Oracle acquired the Hyperion. Hyperion. I think uh, Hyperion is a Volar tool. Oracle also had the Volar tool of the uh, Oracle with their host builder. builder. Okay. This is a Volar tool. But the Oracle where host builder, the market share is 1.8 or 2.2 or something like that. 1.8 to 2.2 in between the market share. Out of 100 people, only two people are using this technology. But but whereas coming to the Oracle database, database world, we know that the Oracle DB is the industry leader. Out of 100 people, no doubt around 70 people are using the Oracle DB as a backend. Even NASA and uh, ISRO also uses the Oracle DB as a backend. Okay. See, now the Oracle, what the Oracle decided that this guys needs to uh, capture the Volap okay. market also. Yeah, out of that uh, Oracle existing market share is 1.8. Okay, at that point of time, these guys cannot increase their business in expected way. But Hyperion, existing Volap tool Hyperion market share is. 18.5 with the market leader. This is the share percentage, and with this percentage, it's acting as a market leader. Okay, instead of pushing this one to the 18.5 percent, they to purchase this. Exactly the done in that one. Prior to acquisition of the Hyper and Oracle, trying to purchase the SAP, the SAP is rejected this proposal. Okay. This one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, after well, what SAP, SAP also tried to acquire Hyperion? No. The Oracle, prior to the Hyperion, uh, the Oracle decided to purchase the SAP, but SAP people are not willing to sell their company. Okay. Okay. I think, uh, Ravi, you know about the trends, right? That whenever we are establishing the company itself, there and there, we have some documentation created by the high level people at what stage that company needs to sell. Mm -hmm. I think you are aware about the Randaxi, right? The Randaxi is the pharmaceutical company in the world that is the ranking of the top four, four, four um, best top four run, uh, pharmaceutical company. Hmm. That pharmaceutical company acquired, even that company is in the huge profits that is acquired by the first company, the first trading company from the US. Okay. That's the best example that even the only losses the company is getting there, that's not the right way. 
if this guys are getting the upward money and that is the uh, starts word money based on the some other vendor can I tell the company at any point of time hmm. okay see this is the why variety is purchased it instead of pushing their product into the 18 point five percent that's highly impossible even it's variety from uh, fluctuation to that went on simply this guys are purchased this and 2000 right Mm-hmm. One more thing. In 2007 itself, one more acquisition done by the Oracle, that is Siebel CRM. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Siebel CRM, the CEO is the one of the top, uh, the, uh, out of the uh, top 10 people in 1996 or 95 in the Oracle corporation itself. Siebel CRM CEO is the proposed one solution for the Oracle organization at that point of time those guys are rejected. Okay, that is the reason Siebel CRM uh, to CEO is uh, get out of the Oracle and establish the one company that is the Siebel. Correct, Tom Siebel. Created the C yeah, and he has created the two, uh, two modules, one is Siebel CRM and Siebel, C uh, uh, Siebel Analytics. Siebel analytics mm -hmm. is nothing but say reporting okay. and Siebel CRM is the module. Okay. That became over OBI. Yeah, yeah. That one is the um, made it as a OBI. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. See what happens to the Oracle corporation is Hyperion is the analytical tool plus some reporting tools are available within the Hyperion source. Okay. And at the same time, Oracle is purchased the Siebel, Siebel CRM and Siebel Analytics. Out of that Siebel Analytics, these guys are changed the name into the OBI. Okay. Now, Oracle mm -hmm. having the two types of reportings in their hand. One is Hyperion reportings and the Siebel uh, OBI reporting. Then, when vendor is common, obviously, vendor needs to decide which one is the best. Okay. In that case, what happened to the Oracle is how many customers are there in the product? Taking the uh, analysis out of the Siebel, Siebel analytics people are using much compared with the high reporting tools. That's the reason Oracle strongly recommended the OBI instead of the high reporting tools. Okay. Why, why did it recommend? I did not get that answer. See, see, I, I'll give you the suit of the high tool. Out of that SBS, it's not a reporting tool, but it's a Volar tool. Mm -hmm. okay. And planning, it's one of the modules. Okay, again it's a Volar. Okay. And HFM, HFM financial management, it's a consolidation tool, having some mm -hmm. importance in the consolidation domain. Okay. And coming to the, some other reporting tools are the financial reporting. And web analysis. And SPR production reporting. Okay. And interactive reporting. These are the different reporting tools from the high tier and See, again, the, as soon as the Oracle purchased the hyphen suit, these are all the products are in the hands of Oracle. Out of that, the few products are only reporting tools. Okay. Again, Oracle even purchased the Siebel CRM and the Siebel Analytics. Out of that, the OBI is, um, Siebel Analytics is uh, one of the reporting tools. Now, Oracle needs to decide these are the reporting tools are best or this is the reporting tool is the best. Then Oracle decided that OBI is the best reporting tool based on the existing high customers are using the OBI. Okay, one more thing. Whatever the advantages we do have in this reporting tools, uh, those are all the advantages of the technology is inbuilt in the OBI. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, I can say one thing. Whatever you can do with the OBI, the same activity you can do with the Interactive reporting. That means the dashboards and all. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. So why, why, why do why why do they say that Hyperion then you know integrates with OBI? See, the moving forward, what's uh, integrating? See, OBI. Let me give one more explanation for this. This particular code, the interactive reporting is purchased by the Hyperion solutions in 2004 from the different vendor. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, the Hyperion having the only three reporting tools. One is the financial reporting and web analysis and SQR reporting. Okay. Why these guys are purchased the interactive reporting? Prior name to the interactive reporting is the Brio, the RIO. Mm -hmm. Brio intelligence. This is the uh, Brio is the reporting tool from the Brio Intelligence Corporation. Okay. Correct. These are the reporting tools. Financial reporting, web analysis, and SQR reporting. These are the reporting tools are used for the only specific data sources for the IPA. Okay. If you have a data in the SBS planning or HFM, these are the reporting tools you can use to, to generate the reports. Okay. Mm -hmm. But in the uh, live or the uh, real world requirements, okay, sometimes we need to get a databases from the OLAP systems. systems and OLTP systems. So suppose you have a requirement to generate the one report. Some piece of data is available in the OLAP systems. Other piece of data is available in the OLTP system. OLTP is nothing but all the database or the DNA. Correct. Will have nothing but all the analytical tools like SBS or the planning systems. Okay. In this case, these are the three reporting tools are paid. Why? Because these are the three reporting tools can capable enough to generate the report from the OLAP systems, but those are all not having capability to generate the OLP. That means at this point of time, Hyperion Solutions is failing to give the solution. That is the reason. Those guys are looking for one, uh, those guys are have the requirement of creating one reporting tool that should be generated. Whatever it is, maybe the support system, those guys need to generate a report. At that point of time, out of that all the reporting tools in the world, the Brigo, those guys are identified and purchased that one and made it as a one of the reporting tools within the Hyperion system. In fact, Brigo is a reporting tool, it's a generic reporting tool, whatever it is the data source even OLTG system or OLAP system or it is a file system that doesn't matter for that. It can create the report from a disparate uh, data sources. Okay. So and one question. OBI is also, yeah. yeah the, uh, HFM is not OLAP tool? It's not a OLAP tool. Okay. As far as I know, it's not a OLAP tool. See, so one what is it? It's a consolidation tool. No, I know it is consolidation tool, but uh, okay. It's a consolidation tool. One more thing, some other advantages are there that you cannot uh, use the SBS of the planning, intercompany transactions and eliminations. So that only you can track with the HFM, HFM financial management. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's very good at uh, financial management. That is the reason most of all banking corporations in the world that is using the HFM. Yeah, I, I'm aware of that. Yeah. Yes. So what is, the data 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 what, is, what is the database? What is the what is the database it uses? Is it SBS or the IBM DB2 or SQL Server, whatever it is. Okay. It it is not it is not just just on a multi dimension. It can use. DB also. See, I see one more thing. If you if you are coming for the debate, some other guy is coming. Why it's not volat? I know it's volat. Even in that case, I can give my own explanation. Right now, all the databases are all the databases, whatever it is, the database. Let me give the example. Oracle DB or SQL Server, Sybase. Hmm. Hmm. or Teradata. These are all the databases initially uh, DBMS. Okay. 
After 1992, these are all made it as a RTB images. Okay. After 98 onwards, these are all moved as a ORTB images. Object oriented, huh? Okay. Object oriented. After that, these are all moved as a OLAP databases. That is the reason whenever you are logging into the 2000 uh, Oracle 9G on boards, that is introduced at the 98 and all. 9G. Okay. As soon as you are logged into the 9, not 9G, 10G on boards. So as soon as you are uh, logging into the Oracle server using the SQL start press, that there you can see that OLAP, OLAP and OLAP features and the data mining features are enabled. That means existing databases are capable enough to provide the OLAP features. Okay. Take the example of the HFM. HFM using again all these databases. And now these are all the databases are capable enough to OLAP. That means Anyway, HFM is runs on top of the databases only. That's the reason even you can tell that the HFM is also over mm -hmm. But it's in short, it's a direct way. If you are telling the story, then maybe interviewer is not uh, willing to listen or vote, right? That is the reason we say that it's not over Easy to convince them. See, I, I think, uh, do you have any idea about the SQL language? It's a basic. Yeah, yeah, I have. Basic SQL. Yes, let's start from. And, and yeah. SQL. SQL language. See. The one or two years a guy, the basic SQL, no, he can write the queries. Okay. Mm -hmm. Suppose five to six years of the SQL, uh, guy can write the queries. And 10 to 15 years of SQL candidate can write the query. Okay. How I can write? See. See, these guys who only can use the sequential SQL, whereas, mm -hmm. can, whereas coming to the this, uh, this guy can even write the multidimensional queries. Hmm. What is? Okay. Even exceptional candidate can use cubical queries. Cubic operation. Mainly, yeah, yeah. That means Hello? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. What is the difference between structural queries and the multidimensional queries and uh, cubical queries? Cubical queries we are not calling as a queries. Cubical operations or the cubical queries. Cubic queries. What is the difference? I think you are, we are aware about the input IO operation, input IO operation. Not much. Huh? Suppose if you are if, if you are writing on basic SQL. Maybe it's needed 100 input of um, IO cycles to provide the result. Okay, hundreds IO uh, IO cycles, IO cycles to provide the result. If you are writing the same query in the multidimensional, maybe you require uh, 20 IO cycles to provide the same result. Okay. If you are using cubical operations, no you need the high, five IO cycles. To provide the same result. What is the difference between this? In short, we can say that the fifth one is the cubical operations is the, the well-tuned queries. Why? Because assume that the first high row cycles the result is providing in a hundred minutes. The second one is you will get in 20 minutes. The third one, if you are writing the same query and uh, you are getting the same result, is the result 5 minutes. That means, obviously, the fifth one is the, uh, the third one is the optimized. Hmm. And what will happen in third one, we are using the RDBMS as a cubic operations. Cubic nothing but 
cubes we are creating, virtual cubes we are creating within the database. Hmm. That is the place exactly we are use, trying to use the Golab features of the database. Hmm. But in the market, very limited resources are there to write the exceptional queries. Hmm. To learn this, I spent only 20,000 rupees and six months. But I forgot to learn the basic principle. Pardon? You forgot? Whatever the score. Yeah, actually, the, I decided to learn the SQL. Okay. Mm -hmm. I joined in mm -hmm. one of the institute in Hyderabad. Satish mm -hmm. Wallanki is the, the good, very good consultant in the uh, SQL and PL SQL. Okay. Mm -hmm. In his class, I, I got to know this. Only mm -hmm. learning the SQL, or it's a, he will teach you more than six months. Okay. Out of that explanation, I remember only one thing. This is the part where I am first class. That's the reason still these are the things are there in my mind. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you are using the exceptional queries, that is the place exactly you are using the one after this. This uh, cubic operations are not available in 1992 or 1995. These are all the cubic operations are available from the 2000 onwards on the all the databases. Okay, earlier that is not adapted. I think what you can say is simply that, that prior to 2000, all the databases are not having the feature of OLAP features and data mining features are not available at the databases level. Okay. I think we are deviated the subject. Okay. See, now see what I have decided that OBI is the main reporting tool and whatever the advantages we have in the interactive reporting that is the inbuilt implemented with the OBI level. Why? Because these are the reporting tools are purchased by the Oracle even the better invested in the money and whatever the code we have to create this one that is with the Oracle now. Okay. What are the advantages of this reporting tool that is uh, even adapted to the OBI? I think you know right, prior to the OBI, people analytics only the specific reporting tool for the people CRM modules. Mm -hmm. okay. After that, what, what, what I actually done is that the SQL uh, analytics module is uh, generalized for all the data sources. Mm -hmm. Correct. Not only for SQL CRM modules. This is okay. This is the history of the SBS. Okay. Tomorrow we can talk about the rest of the things, the architecture of the hyper. Okay. If you are free, then we can start at the eight to nine. That's a flexible time for me even. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Okay. okay. I'll send you this uh, to, um, slide for you. Okay. Whatever the explanation I am given for the first session one and history, this you can. Uh, Okay, one question for you, uh, Babu. See, Babu, yesterday I was speaking to Srinivas. See, I was, what he told me, see, since my presentation is mostly around the hydrogen planning, he said that Babu will cover the initial concepts about SBS till the time, till how much you need to know planning, and then he can take planning and then come back to the remaining part of SBS. Is, is that your understanding also? Yeah, if you want me to do that way, I don't have any. Okay. Well, the reason is I, 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 I do not want to do that way, but I am just thinking that how best I can make use of your training for my presentation. That is why I am trying to take that part. See, I will do one thing. Tomorrow I will explain about the SBS architecture. After that, I will show you how to create the DS1 and DS2 application. Okay? Mm -hmm. the next, we, are, we can switch into the planning. I am talking about okay. the planning architecture. And I uh, will show you how to create the planning application. And I'll tell you the, what are the advantages of the BS4 uh, planning compared with the BS4 uh, as this. That may be helpful for your presentation. Okay. Mm -hmm. After that, so I back and we can start as usual the same. Yeah. Schedule. Got it. Got it. So in, in planning, you I do not see your planning curriculum. You also cover EPMA, right? If you want me to cover, I can cover, but I am not exceptional candidate uh, for the EPM. No, at least you can uh, explain the concept and how it needs to be done, right? See, at least creating the EPM application, it will take the two six hours. Okay. I don't know whether you can spend that much time in the single class. Okay, okay. Anyway, anyway I will do one thing.
whenever I'm going to teach about the EPMA planning application, I recorded the session, I'll send it to the recorded session also. If you are missing the mm -hmm. point, then you can refer and you can get it. Okay. Why? Because in one of the previous organization, we are going to give the one POC. Those guys are looking for only EPM application. That's where mm -hmm. the, my uh, Hyperion has given the assignment for me to create the EPM application. And the, what are the features I analyze with? Uh, really, I'm not worked on the EPM production support or the development. As part mm -hmm. of the POC, what are the queries those guys are having there and support? Okay, okay. No, 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 no problem. I understand. So, but, uh, yeah, because see, what I am trying to do is I am trying to uh, form some portion of the presentation that I will present, right? So, I am trying to get my case study form stuff. So, I, a lot of places EPMA is being used. So, I just wanted to make sure that my understanding is there on the concept very well. Okay. So, one thing, uh, Babu, you, you don't teach FH, NHFM, right? Yeah, I'm not teaching, but I know the HFM, but that the knowledge is not enough to convince you at uh, each and every Correct, I, 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 I would, so who would you recommend there? One guy is there, he's the Srinivas, he's very good at the functional side as well as the technical part. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And, uh, of course, if you are taking the training from the Srinivas, he's the guy can introduce the Srinivas. Is the exceptional candidate in the general. Okay. 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 Uh, earlier days we have a few more that the outstanding people are there in uh, Hyderabad to teach me. Those guys are moved for the onside and left the yeah. teaching field. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Uh, right now, what are the resources available in Hyderabad out of that? He is the exceptional candidate. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And for uh, OBI also, you have some candidate? Yeah, one candidate is there, but it is going to cost uh, around the six thousand and six hundred dollars. If you can afford, then I can. Oh my God, I, I can't afford that. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, because he is uh, testing in such a way that uh, no doubt you can see the difference. That doesn't mean that we are not teaching in the right way, but it is his own standard. Okay. Mm. You have to give me somebody who is affordable, man. <laughs> okay. Got it. Yeah, but he is a very good candidate. He is very. Uh, he has the right. What we what we can do with the OBI, what we can do with the OBI, he can teach to us. Okay. If you are going for the presentation, if you are taking the classes from such a person, that you can go for the debate for that, even for the exceptional candidates in the OBI. That's why. Okay. But uh, see, someone recommended me for the OBI. Uh, maybe you can afford or not, uh, but I am recommended that person. But what are the recommendations I need to go Pardon? to satisfy that trainer, right? See, if you are recommended me for the OBI trainer, he is the one. Mm -hmm. okay. Got it. He do have a good you know, teaching experience also. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, we can, uh, so we will we'll catch, catch tomorrow. Yeah, okay. Okay, fine. Okay. Yeah, okay.